Good morning, my guest, my really special guest is today, Rene Pihulik, and I'm really honored to speak to you. Hello, how are you doing? Hi, I'm good. I'm fine. Thank you. So just before we start, obviously, I think your face is known to everyone now who's interested in horse racing industry. But I'm interested in how did all happen? I mean, all. I mean, how did your story start with horse racing? Um, yeah, <laughs> it's a bit funny because uh, I never worked with uh, horses before. Before I start my apprentice, uh, and I start my apprentice with uh, 16 years with thoroughbreds. Okay. Uh, and have you had any interest in animals or your family member was interested in horse racing or are you been first? Um, my whole family is interested in animals. So uh, we, have, uh, we have dogs and uh, something like this, but uh, they bought uh, two horses when I was 13, but non thoroughbreds. Um, so that was uninteresting for me. And... Um, I want to work with uh, animals and uh, I want to work with horses. And then, so that was the, the way why I start with the uh, thoroughbreds when I was 16. So um, that's the way. And your first race was on 207, yeah? That was my first ride was 2007, that's right. Um, and start my career as an apprentice in 2003. Okay, so... Quite a long time ago. Yeah, between uh, this this time, I broke uh, my leg, and I had a break over nine months. That okay. was uh, that was the ground why uh, I spent uh, one year more in my apprentice time. So, how did it all happen with the uh, with the big winning last week, and how did it all happen that you ride this horse? You've been riding him. He was when he was two years old. Am I correct? That's correct. Uh, I rode him when he was uh, two years old, the first race of him. And uh, yeah, so I finished fourth with him and the owner wasn't happy with the result. Okay. And after that, after a bit of break and a couple races from Tequato Tasso, you've been riding him again and won a big prize. Yeah, I started to ride him again in uh, Hamburg, in Hansa Prize, Group 2. And um, I think the way was uh, because Bojan Muzabayev, he's going to be a stable jockey at uh, the stable of Peter Schergen. Yeah. And so he had also runners in this race. And so that was the way why uh, Marcel asked me to ride him again and said, uh, sure, why not? Okay. And then you win one group one racing, another group one. And then it comes to the Paris race. How did you feel about it? Uh, <laughs> the feelings are great. Um, I won with him now. I won with him two group one in row, and uh, one of them was uh, the biggest race in uh, in Europe. So yeah. the feelings are amazing. Do you remember how did you feel just before the race? Uh, before the race, I was very concentrated. Um, I was uh, yeah, I was nervous. I was totally nervous, um, but uh, yeah, I think that uh, that's that's normal. Is there anyone who were uh, your competitor in that race that did you did you scared the most before the race? Do you remember that? No. 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 You are a brave man then. <laughs> <laughs> and okay, so you before the race, you've been very concentrated. And okay, so now you are in the stall. What happened next? In the stalls. Yeah. I went into the stalls and um, that was okay. Uh, that was a race, yeah. Uh, and I jump off and then it, it was a race like, like every race. I don't know why. Um, between the race, uh, I was looking for a good position. I tried to follow Adaya. Um, but then he take the lead uh, and I said, okay, that's uh, too quick for me. I have to stay here. It doesn't matter. Um, the whole race, I, I, was, I, was, I was nervous. Uh, I feel great and I, I was happy with my position. And uh, yeah, the last furlong, I know I'm, I'm going to win the race. 
Paul Jesus, don't fall off. Don't fall off. <laughs> yeah, and and then you win. And what's done? What happened then in in this jockey's mind, heart? What happened then? Um, when I passed the post, uh, I was thinking, fuck, you won the arc. I can't believe that. It's true. It's it's just a dream. I don't know. I can't believe that. And Christoph, he passed me on the inside and he said, congrats, my friend. And he said, he said, congrats. Okay, you won the race. You won the fucking Arc de Triomphe. <laughs> he can't believe that. Yeah. I think I need two or three days to, to believe that. Okay. The, the, well, okay. So after a few days, how do you, how did it change your life? Is it, is it some change in your life now? No, nothing, nothing. Um, before, before I wrote in the, in the arc, um, they gave me the trainers in Germany. They gave me so many chances to ride in good races, to ride in the group races. And since last year, and actually it don't change my life, but I have to give a lot of meetings and, uh, interviews and something like this. Um, but I will see what's the future is, uh, to maybe, maybe to go to Dubai or, um, Japan, Qatar, something like this. Maybe Austria, uh, Australia. I don't know. I will see what's in the future. So I was reading about you a lot and I wrote on your Twitter, I'm a jockey and it's my life. So yeah. what's, what's, what's your next dream then? If a jockey is your life. Uh, I remember last year when I won my first group one, um, they asked me in an interview, um what's what's the next step which, which race you, you want to, going to win and i said um oh, the arc why not well i can't dream it's allowed and to yeah. this year i'm going to win the arc so i would say the japan cup will be nice <laughs> okay all right okay i visited with... i visited japan cup two times Okay. And it's it's that's amazing. Uh, the year I, I I went to the Japan Cup that was with Ivanhoe 2014, and there was 120,000 visitors on the race course, and oh. uh, I was just the leader, but it was amazing as a leader. Do you so, think it's a next step for the Quattro Tasso then for yourself? Um, next year. Okay. This this year, you get a break. And um, next year, we want to go uh, to England in the King George and maybe to the Ark again. Oh, wow. Good, good. Okay, so you have a big dream. So the only thing I can do is uh, to congratulate once again and to wish you to all your dreams to come true, like this one. Thank you so much. One dream comes true. Thank you for finding time for us and best of luck. Wish you all the best. Take care. Thank, thank you so much. Bye-bye.